Welcome to Real Physics. This is just a little unimportant problem for today, but I think it highlights the mind-blowing properties of deep sea. I'm really stunned. So I'm here at the south coast of Malta and it's a beautiful island. I'm hiking when, well, as a physicist, you wander about the Earth's history and evolution and you see the erosion and you hear the erosion. Yeah, just a question that comes up. How much time would it take that the erosion of the Mediterranean and all the chemical geochemical processes would wipe out the entire island. <laughs> so, and yeah, I ask that simple question. Actually, to answer it completely, it uh, requires a kind of sophistication. And then he thought for about two minutes. I mean, he's so diligent in contrast to ChatGPT, he's much lazier and uh, he considers this and that and it con consists of limestone and he gives estimates of erosion rates and then he wonders about uh, if the erosion is vertical primarily or it's lateral because it's attacked from the sea level and uh, he does this and that estimate and, and yeah, he, he corrects even my typos because I made, I made a typo when, when asking the question and after two minutes it comes up with a very well-reasoned answer or an estimate of five to ten million years. I send you the link then to the, his reasoning. I think this is already astonishing, but, but here now comes the real mind-blowing thing. So I answered saying, okay, yes, that's nice, but uh, shouldn't we consider also the variation of the sea level due to the ice age ages? Yeah, he could have forgotten that. And he then answers, okay, yes, and comes up, of course, with all the Milankovitch cycles and uh, and that the sea level of the Mediterranean varies about 130 meters between the maximum of the ice age and the minimum and so on. And then he adds one thing that really stunned me. Consider, however, that there are also tectonic processes. And let that sink in. I mean, I didn't mention that. I even forgot that for a minute. But it's like talking to a skilled geologist who would just normally bring up this while thinking about all the geological processes in geological timescales. So he then corrects his answer. Instead of 5 to 10 million years, he says it's 3 to 7 million years. Might be a little bit faster, the erosion. But that's not important. I think what's really remarkable here is the general intelligence, the oversight, the knowledge that, yeah, I would say characterizes almost a geologist. That's really astonishing. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. Normally I talk about more fundamental problems of physics, but this was, yeah, just stunning. So leave a subscription and have a nice day.